Beetlejuice Skrillex? Ah, uh, that's some long hair. We gon' party like What is this? I don't know this genre. What is this? K pop? Wow, fantastic, baby. This is hilarious. I've never seen this before, but it's awesome. Characters from every Final Fantasy game I've ever played. Wow, fantastic baby. <gasps> fantastic baby. They've been playing too much NBA Jam. Why do they have where the wild things are costumes? I'm digging this girl. See why I listen to K-pop? Oh, I love K-pop videos. Wow, fantastic baby. <laughs> I don't know what I just watched. Hey yo, GG! Oh, Girls' Generation? <laughs> This. this is Girls' Generation. Please. Did you say you're gonna introduce yourself, maybe? Is this the girl that was in Size music video? No, you're just being racist. Damn it! She maybe it is. I can't tell. <laughs> Stop. Let me put it down another way. Oh sh! <laughs> Damn! Oh girl! You don't even know! Oh, here comes the breakdown. I'm like obsessed with this. <laughs> I got a boy on my chin. Is that what they say? <laughs> I got a boy on my chin. <laughs> My chin. I need Google Translate. That was so good. Oh, what's the third one? What's the third one? It's Asian Backstreet Boys out these doors. The boys, I can't take seriously. The boy bands are hit or miss for me, especially the, the lady in the center. You're being silly when you say lady as it's a dude. Thank you. Welcome to the joke. Yeah, you got it. Got it. <laughs> I'm so confused about everything. 360K Matrix. Matrix, there we go. That's nice and recent. Dreamy guys. These boy bands get me all hot and bothered. Ooh, look at that. He just like shot Care Bear Stare out. <laughs> He's using that boy band magic. Yeah, yeah, I can definitely stop to this. I'm in front of an expensive cotton. I don't know what way I should react to that. Cause I'm just I'm confused. I was not expecting K-pop on this show. <laughs> So, what was that genre of music? Was it J-pop? Uh, is that K-pop? I know it was not American. These are all K-pop! I watch a lot of StarCraft 2, and at all like the GSL and StarCraft 2 tournaments, K-pop plays in between. So I'm very familiar with K-pop. I wonder if over in Korea or Japan they call our pop A-pop. So the first band is called Big Bang. Mm, Big Bang Theory. No, Big Bang. Big Bang. Just Big Bang. Theory. What did you think of their music video? Fat, 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 fat. I thought it was great. It's just like colorful chaos. Can we call it colorful chaos? If I were to explain a K-pop video, that's how it would be. It was bright colors, dancing, and stuff I don't understand. And that one key English line somewhere. Korean, 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 fantastic, baby. Korean, Korean, Korean. 
doesn't work for me. I thought, uh, <laughs> this is the most confusing thing that I've watched in the past 48 hours. Thank you, Fine Brothers. And the girl group is called Girls' Generation. I liked them. I wanted to be in their world. I love Girls' Generation. I have at least five or six Girls' Generation tracks on my phone right now. I don't care what they're saying. I don't care, as long as uh, they just keep doing it forever. The thing is, though, right, and it's gonna sound terrible, they could be swapped out for completely different people, and I would enjoy it just as much. I feel like I just went through, like, a, a brand new life-altering change in my life. It was like the first time I saw One Direction. I had that exact reaction. And now I see the light, and it's like, I have to go home and research everything. Pop music in my native language has become so dumb and watered down I almost feel like learning a new language when I listen to it. Too many girls. I'm sorry. Too many girls. They got a, they got a half the number of girls. It doesn't come off as the straightest thing I've ever said. <laughs> <laughs> Fewer girls. Take them away. The last group is called Shiny. Fat, 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 fat. I'm gonna start a band just called Spiffy. They all had really nice hair. I liked their hair. Ridiculous. He had three Porsches in the background. Rick Ross, you better watch out. Like a. Korean One Direction. Mm -hmm. I might have just offended a lot of you, I'm so sorry. I don't know if I'm old now, but you don't wear half those outfits out. Be honest, be honest, stop it. They were very seductive. We're a boy band and uh, pelvic thrust, yeah, like. <laughs> They're not as good as Mr. Mister. I don't know, the Care Bear stare moment was pretty <laughs> awesome. If I met a guy in real life that just came up to me and was like, hey baby, boof, and like, light came flowing out of them and just twinkled around me like fairy dust, I'd, yes. What do you know about K-pop? Nothing, I know zero. My ex-girlfriend made me watch a lot of those and I just never understood it. They spend a lot of money on their videos. And there's so many people in the group. The more the merrier. I, like, I would love just a boy band of like 30 boys. <laughs> Wait, that, that's not a bad idea. Wait, why don't we do that? I know that it's a type of music that Meg Turney listens to. <laughs> um, <laughs> I know that finally my extensive knowledge of foreign pop music has paid off. K-pop is uh, Korean pop music, and it's taken over where J-pop was ruling in the early 2000s. K-pop is like the new hotness. And it's coming to America. Girls' Generation was on David Letterman. I've heard that these K-pop members go through years of hardcore training. Like, it's creepy, it's scary. Some more information about K-pop. Okay. There are major companies that put these groups together and train them for years to produce them into stars. But unlike in the US where that's sometimes frowned upon, it's embraced in South Korea and people can't wait for the next artist to come out of these corporations. That's very bizarre to me. It's kind of like, what's the next Pepsi? But it's like, what's the next K-pop? Yeah. Band. Why do you think it's different there versus here? Uh, it's really interesting. I guess it kind of like, changes my thoughts on it a little bit. We have a little bit of that here, like people can be trained and stuff, but it's not so much like groups just being like pumped out constantly. Here we're all about capitalism, make it on your own, you know, screw the man. There's a very popular screw the man attitude that America's always had. Over there, not so much. When I was growing up, I used to be like, NSYNC was put together, they suck. But I really don't care now if music's good. Now you're just the biggest fan of music. Music's good. Like, everyone wants to be the hipster. Like, oh, I, I was I, I was on that first before anyone even knew about him. Then once you become somebody, they don't even want you anymore. You lose fans. But out there, that's so different. I'm going to Korea. I want to support people who do their own thing. I just think they're kind of, you can support them both at the same time without being contradictory. Yeah, I feel like there's benefits to either. I mean, to be the person that writes your own stuff and comes up through it by yourself, just because you're maybe not so good at songwriting, but you're a great singer, dancer, performer, doesn't mean that should be neglected either. The whole Motown system of creating groups of artists was very much a factory processing uh, situation for human beings. Maybe K-pop is South Korea's Motown era. And finally, K-pop has some of the fiercest, most dedicated fans on the internet. That's right! <laughs> <Bang dirty. laughs> Why do you think this pop music has such a rabid following that they would go to fiercely defend it and go after people online who don't like it? I would say I am the same way as a little monster about Lady Gaga. So if you come for my queen, I will take you down a peg. The more something is a niche, the more people feel ownership and feel like they need to defend it. They don't have to own up to what they have to say. You know, they, they, can, they can say mean, rude things without having to like take responsibility for the feelings that they hurt on the other side. The fandom is rabid, but it's it's sometimes, it's misguided sometimes, and also it does good sometimes. It's like Reddit. You could ask that for 
many other mediums and, and, and things. Like, like um, Twilight fans were super defensive. Bieber fans are the most defensive people on the planet. Think Justin Bieber times 12, and they put them all in one and put them in, you know, like, that makes sense, I get it. Because it makes them super happy, so it's like, why aren't you super happy watching this? You should love it just as much as I do. And if you don't love it, then I'm not gonna love you. K-pop is delicious, and it is beloved, and anybody who tries to mess with that Attack! Thanks for watching another episode of YouTubers React! Do you like the show? Well, girl, support it by subscribing to all of us. I'll see you next time. You're all fantastic, baby. Bye! Go download Girls' Generation. Did you just say I go download on girls? I said download! What's oh. wrong with you? Wait, can we do